Um, something else they're bringing that a lot of people are very excited about. They're bringing back the Nike Vapor Untouchables. These are probably one of the most iconic cleats ever. You know, it's just one of the best looking silhouettes, hands down. And then the carbon fiber traction plate they came with originally is one of the coolest plates ever. Um, this is a cleat I have in my collection because they're so cool. And I've only worn them once on turf. Um, here's a nice video of Jamar Chase. He's the only guy so far that I've seen in the NFL that has these. Um, but if you look closely, you'll notice that they do have the um, edge traction plate. So Nike, what they're doing is they're kind of bringing back their older style cleats. We saw it with the Vapor Carbons. You know, they brought those back, kind of reworked them, gave them the updated edge plate and released them to the public. So this is going to be the exact same um, idea as that, except it's going to be the OG Untouchables. But they are going to have the edge plate. I know that's going to upset a lot of people. Honestly, it kind of upsets me because, I don't know, something about that carbon fiber plate is just incredible. Um, we talked yeah. about them a little bit on the podcast at some point when we, we kind of leaked that there was a Oregon player that wore them. I couldn't find the photo for the podcast, but... Um, if you go back to that podcast, you'll see it. Um, but this is, I mean, they're coming back. So they're going to drop to the public in 2024. So this is a new Nike cleat. I don't really know of any other Nike cleats that are dropping. We might see the Diamond Turf 96s drop to the public. I'm pretty sure that's happening. Um, but I don't know if they're coming with any new Vapors or Alphas or anything. I'm sure they are. Maybe. I don't know. They've been kind of unpredictable, unpredictable lately. Um, but regardless... Yeah. OG Untouchables are coming back, and Jamar Chase has them, and they're really cool. I know you're more into line and stuff, Tony, but tell me you're excited about the OG Untouchables coming back. You know, the weird thing about – not the weird thing, but those cleats came out the year after I finished. Really? Wow. Yeah. They so out, what, when I saw kids – they like uh yeah because i they were like fall 2015 because I, I i graduated in 2015 okay. they didn't exist in 2014 when i was playing fall ball so when i stopped those didn't exist i come back from my first year of coaching with my team and there's kids wearing those and i was like damn those and there was even the, some of the colorways like because my team was like red and yellow we were the cardinals yeah. and there was like some red and yellow versions of those things that were just like a stock colorway Yep. And I was like, like, holy sh like they were really cool. So I'm yeah. excited to see those. Um, so we do know about those for sure. We've been told that the diamond turfs will be coming out in more colorways, which makes sense that they would drop them in just some team colorways at least at some point in the year. Um we probably still have maybe the dunks year over year, maybe like a two year mm -hmm. cycle on the dunks. I think we they're going to add more colorways. You know, we've seen some NFL guys in like these team bank colorways. So I think those are going to come yep. to the public as well. Um, the Alpha Menace, I could see them refreshing. Same, it'll yeah. be the same traction plate, the X frame, because they've already put that on other new stuff coming out that we've seen. Um, oh, LeBron's. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The LeBron LeBron's are going to drop as well. Yeah, yeah so they're doing Ford. a lot of stuff. They're bringing so they have kind of three pillars that they're working with. They have like their lifestyle stuff, which is the Ron Fours, uh, the Diamond Turfs, basically bringing back iconic silhouettes as football cleats. Then they have kind yeah. of their like throwback pillar. So that's going to be the Vapor Carbons and the Untouchables, just bringing back older like iconic Nike football cleats. And then they have like their innovative one, which is like all their new Nike Vapors that are just like the latest stuff. So they're, I mean, they're kind of hitting it pretty hard, you know, recently. So pretty excited to see all the stuff they drop, you yeah. know, in the upcoming the, year. Um, the Alpha Menace, to be honest, this Alpha Menace is probably one of the ugliest football cleats I've ever seen. Which one's that? I can't see what you're holding. Oh, I'm getting up. Devin, can you see me right now? Or is your no. internet still being... <laughs> no, the internet's being tricky. I'm just looking at a okay. black screen per usual. So I have in my hand the Nike Alpha Menace Pro 3s. Okay, yeah, those are ugly. In black. Yeah. You have a black and white there, right? Hate... No. No, uh, these ones I just have a black and white. Okay. I yeah, hate bad. the long Nike Lightning thing that goes up it. Mm -hmm. I hate the silhouette of it. I hate these cutouts and how big and blocky they are on the side that hug around your foot. I, I the purpose of them, um, 
I'm sorry, but I hate the toe box. The toe box was too narrow. And I hate the branding on the back. This like cutout thing that says agility system lock and containment. This like mm -hmm. badge looking thing that's just screen printed. When I saw this cleat and I saw the last Alpha Pros and the last Alpha Menace Elites, the twos, I love those things. And I just, dude, I hated these things. The I think the only redeeming quality of these is is the traction plate that they've clearly yeah. moved forward with. It's a so, good traction plate, for sure. Yeah. Um, so I hopefully, I, I really hope they get rid of this. Like this, I'm sorry, dude, this Nike logo that's as big as the freaking cleat sucks. Yeah, it's not working. Right? No. So we see I'm excited to see it. Yeah. Yeah. And also, uh, someone asked me about it in my DMs today. Um, the Don't forget the Four Savage Pros, or Four Savage 3 will be the name, probably. Yep. Right, their Lyman cleat that they're hopefully, they should be coming back with. They've been worn by, yeah. like when, when you watch football on Sundays now, beginning of training camp, there was a couple of random sightings. They are everywhere now. Yeah, they're pretty much common now among NFL yep. offensive linemen. So they're definitely, those are definitely coming. That's a good point. I forgot about those. So it looks like Nike has waded the waters through COVID yeah. where it felt like they were dropping and dealing with the supply chain stuff. And now with the introduction of women's football and the growth of football that's happening now with flag and women being involved, Nike is swinging for the fences this year to yeah. come back in a very big way. That's how it feels. It feels like, Cleats, they're going to create these three distinct pillars about things that have not really existed before, and they're going to introduce that. Gloves, they're refreshing everything. They're adding new gloves on top of the refreshing and making fixes. So it feels like Nike is going to win this year, right now. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. 